turns out that some digital monsters really live up to the title. Darkness wins! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Digimon villains. Are you a fan of this video? Be sure to subscribe to catch our latest show, The Bolt E3. Four gamers take an epic road trip from San Fran to LA, gaming all the way. Coming soon to Watch Mojo. For this list, we're looking at the best villain characters from across the Digimon franchise, both human and monster. Since we'll be going into detail about what makes these bad guys such examples of digital dastardliness, expect a few spoilers down the line. Had your chance, my turn. Number 10, Dr. Kurata and Belfamon. If there's a victim you should feel sorry for in this little story, it's me. And just what do you mean by that, Kurata? One is a legendary being known for its unparalleled thirst for destruction, and the other is a cowardly human researcher with delusions of grandeur. Put them together, and what do you get? Enough brain and brawn to ruin both worlds. Send the second platoon and tell them to show the Digimon no mercy. Due to his megalomaniac tendencies and utter fear for Digimon in general, Dr. Karata decides to use Belfamon's untold power to try and make his twisted dreams a reality, even if he ends up as nothing more than a face inside the belly of the beast. Marcus Damon, I will destroy you! Number 9, the D Reaper. Those were dark times indeed. There seemed to be no defense against the true enemy. Nothing was able to stop its unending destruction. Talk about apocalyptic. While originally designed by humans as a program in order to keep the digital world in check, it soon ends up mutating to the point where it becomes a threat to both humans and Digimon alike, taking the form of a sentient blob-like creature that even managed to put multiple Mega Digimon through their paces. This is nuts! We can't just sit back and rely on a bunch of kids and their digital pets! If that wasn't scary enough. It goes on to use the traumatic memory of Jerry as a way to learn more about humans, bringing up some very creepy imagery. Your emotion will get you nowhere. The D-Reaper will delete everyone. Number 8, Bagramon. So, you The simplicity in this guy is almost admirable, as he has one mission and one mission alone. Destroy everything! As the leader of the Bagra army, this antagonist proved to be quite the obstacle for the fusion fighters, to the point where the only way to beat him involved our hero literally absorbing every single Digimon in existence. Though, what would you expect from someone known around the digital world as the Sage of Death? The guy was even willing to kill and absorb his own brother. Sheesh. Number 7, Black War Greymon. By far one of the most morally complex characters in the franchise. Despite being born from the corrupt nature of 100 control spires, this Digimon was above all else a warrior trying to forge his own path. He managed to cripple the Digidestined on multiple occasions, brought about all kinds of calamity, and yet, through it all, became intrigued about the nature of the heart. He may look like a darker version of WarGreymon, but this character was still well and truly his own. And maybe one day, we could even be friends. Number 6, Devimon. Ready? The first true villain of Digimon, this malicious being more than lives up to his demonic appearance. Whether he's infecting innocent Digimon with the Black Gears, or administering the appropriately named Touch of Evil, Devimon's presence is felt through all of File Island. Of course, he's not above getting his hands dirty either, and he nearly managed to kill off Tai and company during their final confrontation, only to be defeated after getting a fistful of Angemon. I'll stop you! Hi! He may not be the most complicated of individuals, but he certainly set a solid foundation for all antagonists that followed. You have failed me! Number 5, Lucimon. As long as I have the data you collected, my resurrection will soon be complete. Regardless of any initial impressions you might have, trust us, this guy's anything but heavenly. The being responsible for the chaotic state of the digital world, this tyrant loves nothing more than to play mind games with both the legendary warriors as well as his own subordinates. Now, what is it? My lord, when can we have the key? As if his cruelty and god complex weren't bad enough, he's also got some serious power under that toga. With both his chaos and shadow lord forms, he was but a breath away from bringing out the end of the human world. Luckily, that was nothing a celestial blade couldn't fix. Feel the power of the legendary warriors and perish! 
Number 4. Beelzemon I'll keep loading data till no one can stop me! No one! For the majority of the series, Impmon was nothing more than an annoyance that the Tamers and their partners had to deal with on repeated occasions. He could be loud and crass, but he certainly wasn't any kind of real threat. That is, of course, until he digivolved into his mega form, got himself a motorcycle, as well as a brand new murderous attitude. Then, he became very threatening. While he would ultimately go on to redeem himself, there's no denying that Beelzemon made quite the impact as a villain. Killing Leomon with his bare hands? Nobody's gotten over that yet. Number 3. Piedmon Thank you for the sparring match, War Greymon. Now I'm ready for the main event. What's worse than a scary clown? Well, how about a scary clown armed with four swords, a psychotic mindset, and a desire to slaughter everything he comes across? As the leader of the Dark Masters, Piedmon wasn't only more terrifying than Puppetmon, but was even stronger than titans like Machindramon and Metal Seedramon. His strength was astounding, his clownish attributes were unnerving, and in many ways he stood as the true antagonist for the original Digit destined to fight against. We got nothing against his follow-up, Apocalymon, but the Psycho Jester was just in a different league altogether. Clown train, train, train. Oh! Number 2. The Digimon Emperor Some nice friends you got there, Davis. As always, you can count on humanity to make things a million times worse. A child prodigy who saw himself as the rightful ruler of the digital world, Ken kept up the persona of a perfect student as a cover for his villainous activities as the self-proclaimed Digimon Emperor, loving nothing more than turning Digimon into his slaves thanks to the mind control effects of the Dark Rings. And I'm afraid that if you can't play by my rules, I'm just going to have to disqualify you." While he would eventually abandon his evil ways and join the Digidestin, as far as human antagonists go, Ken remains the king. <laughs> With the new Dark Spirals, I will control the whole digital world! Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I don't want to hear any excuses. I want those stinking kids located now! Number 1. Myotismon If you fail me again, my bats will have a new chew toy. If Dracula were a Digimon, had an unbelievable amount of swag, and a stubborn refusal to stay dead, then you'd probably get something like this guy. Not only did he manage to defeat the Digidestined multiple times, bring war to the human world, and pull off one hell of a wardrobe, but Myotismon also is damn hard to get rid of. Blown to pieces by Angel Woman? Just come back as the petrifying Venom Myotismon. Get your demon crotch torn open by Wargreymon? Huh, who cares? Make a dramatic return in the sequel series as Mallow Myotismon. Possessing style, substance, and all manner of delicious evilness. They really don't make them like this guy anymore. What next? What should I do? Show me what you fear. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.